Hey guys, Ty Sullivan at A&L. Got a unique one, only because they don't make a ton of these. 2023 Wildwood. I can't even get it all in here. 42 View, which is a brand new floor plan that they have too for this year. This is obviously a destination trailer. So not meant to pull around a lot, but you can get it to where you need it to go. Thing, water lot, up in the mountains, things like that, where you really want to have something closer to a residential, but you don't want to actually build whatever kind of house, cabin, etc. that you would want to do on site. Or if you're near a river where it might flood, you can actually pull this out on occasion, have it checked once a year kind of a thing before the floodwaters get up to it. So enjoy this craziness that is the Wildwood 42 view. Like I said, we don't get a lot of these in. Here's our weight. Here's our length. We'll dive in. All right, 20 and 23 Wildwood, Grand Lodge, 42 view, destination trailer. We left this front cap covered up because those panels are here to protect it. So while they're shipping it, because it's so flat, that is gonna be covered in muck and bugs and things like that. So they try to reduce that as much as they can. And I don't even know where to start. You can tell how tall this is, how far off the ground, how big these I-beams are. This is gonna be a different experience for anyone who's ever dealt with a travel trailer in the past manual jacks because people do unique things with this and even your front tongue that's up here you can get that set to come off so you can actually disassemble that over time or option it to disassemble this particular one is welded on 30 pound propane tanks up front manual jack because how often are you gonna be doing this beefy front tongue check out our slides on our roadside it's already prepped for slide toppers too you can do that in addition when you order there is some outdoor storage for all those small necessities and you'll see this is a table and I'll show you that rail on the other side because these are kind of meant for decking to be built around it too. Water connections on the exterior. There's our furnace exhaust, fresh water at the back. Just a lot with this. Outdoor shower, black tank flush. They do Y off for your sewer connections. Low point drain, etc., is at the back. Because of how it's set up inside, we do have multiple connections for our sewer. 50 amp unit too. Now, unlike a normal trailer, this has a residential water heater. Currently, people may say or ask about swapping this over to a on-demand. It's not that you can't necessarily do it. It's just very difficult. So they recommend that you just kind of stay with that residential and let it do a quick recovery. On the back, the round thing above the window here is an exhaust fan because our bathroom is at the back. No backup camera prep because you're not moving this very much. And then coming back around to our roadside or campsite, excuse me, huge, gigantic, high up awning, big windows, tinted, lots of windows. So. You can see I am standing, and this is hitting me about waist height, our skirting. So further up, up off the ground, really meant for a deck to be assembled next to it. So our rail for our table that I showed you earlier is here, which is about the top of my head height, close to six feet off the ground, because that window slides, and now you can hand things off to a table on the outside where people would be. So you can use that as kind of a bypass from a kitchen living area across. Obviously a sliding glass door. Still tinted. So let's hop inside. 
coming up these stairs isn't too bad. Like I said, it's kind of meant more for a deck. And then you can see how expansive the ceiling height is in this. So more like a fifth wheel. And check out this center island, how huge it is with a rainfall drop edge. And a big, deep storage area because you have extra seating it's going to be underneath sectional with an ottoman no carpet anywhere except for at the top where you have additional sleeping big windows roller shades and these shades are electric as well so they're going to be push button to go up and down love the little trim they're doing around the top too fit and finish is pretty nice and then your entertainment is going to be a televator fireplace mirrored front sound bar is already installed so if you need it also if you don't you enjoy this huge view coming out of these huge windows our kitchen solid countertops Big microwaves, so more for residential style. The oven is not gigantic, but much larger than what you're gonna find in a travel trailer. And then our side-by-side -side fridge is an LG residential fridge. Cabinets are nicely finished. They are not solid wood on the front, but for the usage this is intended for, it's amazing. Nice, huge, deep pantry. The glass insert in the front. We do have propane heat in the floor. Now step up to our first loft. There's a second. It's going to be opposite us. Very, very, very easy to get up here. Thick teddy bear mattresses with a divider. So if you have children that need to be divided, that's pretty straightforward. Soft opening on our blinds as well. Individual lighting, things like that. And a better shot since we have the height of how much actual space you have in here. So for those that, like I said, don't want to build that cabin, this is an option. We do have a vented Coleman return here. Should be one back in the bedroom as well. Two exterior doors, so in and out, it's no big deal. Now with the way this frame is set, we have a step down into the bathroom, which gives us really good amount of height. There's our exhaust fan I was talking about earlier. Big vanity, open storage below. Just everything's nicely finished off. Nothing is over the top, but it absolutely works. We do have one seam in our shower with the surround, but glass doors and a very, very nice shower head wand combo. For those that need washer dryer, we are prepped or just use this as extra space. They were thoughtful to include a louver on the front because the moisture can build up. And rolling right back out to the other end. Partial spiral staircase. All our controls here. Gets us into our secondary loft. Still those thicker teddy bear mattresses. Three in this case. So we're looking at three sleep here. Oh, there's our other return, not in the bedroom. So three sleep here. Two on the other side makes five. You make out the couch for at least two more. We're up to seven. Plus your bed is nine. And I bet we could really get 10 in here. It's a lot of sleeping. Same thing as the bathroom. We have a step down. So our master is very large as far as height. With. Hey guys. Lots of mirrors. In our fireplace 
which is a nice little touch because this is going to be separated in the more winter months. God, you're going to have so much storage in this. It's not even going to be funny. So everything's just nicely done. Now, we don't have a view currently because of those panels on the front protecting it. But you're going to end up with... All of this viewing space ah, it just doesn't do it justice on here. But I mean, look, one, two, three, four, five, six windows in this bedroom area. Those are hubcaps, by the way. Still have solid surface counters even in here. Just a really, really unique floor plan and layout that makes sense in every single possible way. Okay, so this is definitely not what a traditional travel trailer is going to be, but it's not supposed to be. This is a destination trailer. This is meant for those that want to put it in a place and leave it there for an extended period of time and have a ton of space without having to go through the headache of a build, dealing with contractors, things like that. You just pick this up and go. Here's the other cool thing. You are going to have some warranty with it. Okay. Of course, River's going to have some warranty that's going to be applied. So at least on that first year, you're going to have a little bit of leeway there to be able to learn some things, check some things over, have some protection for the roof. I want to include a little bit of detail on that here. That way you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. But just a little bit different. And again, 42 view from the Grand Lodge people at Wildwood is new for this 2023 year. I already have another customer that's very interested in this, and if this one happens to stay around, maybe that'll be his without having to wait for the factory to build it. Because they don't make very many of these, and when they do, it takes a minute to get them. Let me know what you think on this. Give me a comment, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I appreciate you guys watching as always. See ya.